Hey everyone, so in this video we'll have a look at how do you schedule meetings directly from your Zoom app so that you don't have to maintain multiple interfaces or make changes to multiple different places like on your Zoom app or on your or a different calendar interface and so on. Um, before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe. It helps me understand if you're finding these videos informational and if I should keep creating them. Also, uh, in comments, let me know what do you think of this video and other videos on my channel. Uh, it's really helpful. Thanks if you already have subscribed, but if you have not, please do. All right, let's get started. So, uh, how do you schedule meetings and make sure they appear directly on your calendar? Well, there's one key ingredient to that. You need to make sure that your Zoom account is linked with your Google Calendar or whatever calendar service you're using, right? So, I'll click on my picture over here on my Zoom app and I'll go to my profile. Now make sure on your Zoom app, uh, on your Zoom account, uh, I mean on the website over here of Zoom, make sure you're logged into the same account that you're using on your Zoom app because the integrations that you're going to do now are linked to your Zoom account. So you, the account needs to be same. So over here, uh, if you scroll down in the personal profile section, it says connect to calendar and contact service. Now currently it supports only three services for calendars and contacts. Uh, if you are not using one of these, you're out of luck for now. Um, so I'm going to use Google because I use Google Calendar. Now I want to allow access only to my calendar events, not to contacts. So I'm going to allow access only for that. And click on next and choose the Google Calendar. And allow. And that's it. So now if I scroll down again, it says that I have integrated the third party service, uh, Google account over here. And I have allowed access only to the calendar events. Nothing uh, in terms of contacts. Now, uh, when I go now and try to schedule a meeting from my Zoom app, so let's say if I say daily sync up, now although it says daily, I just want to keep it one off for now. Uh, I don't want to schedule a daily meeting for, for this video purposes. But now over here, I, have already, I already have Google calendars uh, linked to my account. So make sure you choose whatever calendar you have linked. If you don't have any calendar link and you want to manually create the invite on your calendar, you can choose other calendars. At the end of the process, it will give you the whole thing to copy paste, basically the invite details. But I have chosen Google Calendar. I have left all of the details by default, whatever they are. Uh, in the advanced options, I have the options to enable waiting room, join before host and mute participants. I normally do these with all my meetings for safety security purposes and to avoid nuisance and make sure everybody's muted by default uh, and now I'll go and schedule okay so as I schedule it goes to my Google Calendar and over here it creates these details right so I have these details with me over here uh, if I want I can change the repetition I can make whatever changes I want but I want to leave everything as it is because it looks perfect to me I'm going to just save it so here you can see I have the meeting and I also have the meeting over here. it says starts in seven minutes now notice that the meeting ID, which was automatically generated as 7950068 and ends with 76, it's exactly same over here as well, 7950086 and it ends with 76, right? So it automatically takes care of that and yeah, so that's particularly all it is. Now from here I can go ahead and edit the invite, I can delete the invite, I can do whatever I want over here, I can copy the invitation and share with others or I can just start the meeting over here. Because I am the host, it's giving me the option to start. If this was an invite from someone else to me, and if they were the host, it would have showed me join instead of start. So that's all this is for video, uh, for this particular video. I hope you found this informational. Uh, if not, please let me know in comments on how I can improve. Also, please let me know in comments what other topics you would want me to cover through videos. I'll try and do my best. Thanks again for watching, and if you haven't subscribed, please, please, please do subscribe. Thanks. Bye-bye.